Hey guys, I'm back with this view <laughs> for you guys to look at. I'm talking about what's behind me. Again, um, I think I've said this in every one I filmed over here. Filming in the later afternoon, it um, because of the way the light comes in, it just um, the glare and everything is just better if I kind of move the camera around. So I hope you guys don't mind so much, but I'm going to be talking about the body shop the Virgin Mojito shower gel. I've got a body scrub and I have the body butter right here. I wanted to go ahead and talk about them before I completely used up some of these products. I've had them a week and I've already used them this much by the time I film this video. So um, I've used quite a bit. So let's just start with the shower gel. And I will tell you, Scent wise, they all smell alike. Um, it is very heavily scented of lime, and you do get a bit of mint, in it, but I do say it's very heavily scented of lime, so be aware of that. And unfortunately, I don't want to blame it on this thing, but a lot of cleaning products smell like lime or lemon as well, and it kind of smells like a little bit like cleaning products. But I will tell you, the scent doesn't linger uh, very long, especially if you're using the shower gel or the body scrub. The scent's not going to linger, so um, I don't mind the smell, but I will say some people probably are not going to like it because of reminds you of cleaning products. So as far as the shower gel, I like it, not in love with it. I bought, if you watched my haul, I got all three of these plus a little loofah that I didn't bring out here. And it was put inside of one of those shakers, like a, a drink mixer shaker, whatever those things are called. All of that was $18. I did get a discount on it. Um, don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I just can't remember, but um, there was a discount. So, uh Right now, they said if you were going, you know how if you ever shop at the body shop, they give you, you know, you buy two, get two free, or one free, or buy three, get three free. I don't remember how they do it, but they've got a lot of deals like that all the time. They don't have it on this product as of when I bought these. Now, by the time I film this video and get it uploaded, they may have a deal on. I don't know. But, um, so for me to get any type of deal, I had to buy it in that manner, um, in this little kit thing if I wanted a deal and wanted to try the products. So, on that note, let's get back to how this works. It is a good shower gel. It lathers very well. I don't mind the scent, but it is very, I hope this is gonna make sense. It's very liquidy. I realize this is a liquid, but it almost, see, I don't know if you can tell, it, it's really runny, like it's got a lot of extra water in the product. So when I squeeze them out in my hands, if I'm not squeezing it onto that loofah, it feels like it's just gonna run between your fingers and you're gonna lose some of it, um, either in the shower or the bath. And so I would say it's just extremely liquidy and I will tell you, when I use the soft soap shower gel, it's kind of that way as well. I think, is it soft soap? I think that's the right product. I hope so. Um, it just seems like they've added a lot of water in it. Whereas a Philosophy shower gel or, um, oh, what's the other one that I like? Oh, Bath and Body Works. How could I forget them? I get so many free ones. So Bath and Body Works and Philosophy, their shower gels seem to be really thick and not as liquidy. I, that's the best way I can explain it. It doesn't seem like when you squeeze it into your hand that it's just going to run everywhere. Like you're trying to, you know, if you've ever put your hand under a sink and try to catch some water, it just can kind of go everywhere. That's what this feels like. Whereas if you squirt some from Philosophy or Bath and Body Works in your hand, you know it's going to stay because it's thick and it lathers really well. This does lather well, but, um, I just feel like it's almost too runny. Just my personal preference, I'd rather have a thick one on um, a shower gel and, or in a shower gel form. But um, overall, I think it's a pretty good shower gel and I don't mind the scent. Okay, this is a very small um, body scrub. 
And the one thing at Bath and Body, I mean, excuse me, the Body Shop, oh, I'm probably mixing up my stores now. The one thing at the Body Shop that I have loved in the past has been a scrub. That is one of my favorite products. Um, the rest of them I have not been a huge fan of whatsoever. So, um, you know, that's just what it is. So, this is what the uh, shower, uh, excuse me, body scrub looks like. And I will tell you, it smells um, just like the, uh, uh, the shower gel. And honestly, when I'm using it, you get, um, it's the same color, maybe a little bit lighter. You get what appears to be a darker green bead in there, and then a very lighter green, um, smaller bead. And I think that's um, the scrub part of it. It feels like they have put some sort of scrub material, and I'm not even sure what this is. I don't even think it's said on the package anywhere of what they're using. I don't know if it's salt, if it's sugar, or if it's something else. If anybody knows, uh, leave it in the comments actually what this uh, scrub material is. I have no idea. I should have looked it up. Apologies. Um, but it, it feels like they're using... Um, Something that's a little bit thicker than their shower gel because it is more of a jelly-like consistency. So they have done, I don't know what they put in there to thicken it up, but it is thicker than a shower gel. But it reminds me of that with some scrub particles in there. So the scrub is not going to be a heavy-duty scrub at all. It's got the particles that scrub are very fine, fine, fine. And if you want to get um, a really good scrub, um, either like a soap and glory or even some of the body shop scrubs in the past this is not going to be what you want it's just um, something that's going to lightly it's, it doesn't feel very abrasive I almost but not quite feel like you could use this on your face and it wouldn't do any damage not 100% sure about that I've not tried it on my face but it, it feels really gentle in my opinion this particular scrub so um, of these three products right here, um, I'm having a hard time figuring out which one I like the best, so let me talk about this one a little bit, and then I think I'll tell you which ones I like the best of the three. So this is the Body Butter. Still has the same scent, so keep in mind, this is going to be the scent that lingers on you the most, or the product where the scent lingers on you the most, and it's the body butter. The other two, after you use them, I pretty much couldn't detect a scent of them whatsoever. But this one, I was able to detect this on my skin two hours after applying it. Then kind of after two hours, it kind of went away. So this is going to be the one that lingers on you. I do like this body butter. I've used it quite a few times already, but as far as their body butters go, if I were going to go repurchase one, I would buy the one in the Satsuma. That's just the route that I would go because it smells so good. That's my favorite scent at the body shop, but overall, I mean, it's a good, it's a good um, body butter. Really no complaints about it, but of all of these products, none of them were that outstanding to me because I've used other products. Um, you know, other shower gels I've liked better. The Body Shop has made another scrub that I liked better. It was my favorite scrub. It came out last year. It was a raspberry one. Hands down, it was my favorite scrub. And then I use other lotions and creams and body butters that I like better than the Body Shop. So I would say of these three products, if you wanted to try one, I would probably go ahead and say the scrub. Um, just because it's gentle, so if you've got, I think it is, and if you've got sensitive skin, I think this one is not going to be that abrasive, just because it feels more like a shower gel than it does um, <clears throat> a really heavy duty scrub, if that makes sense to anybody. So, you know, go out and give them a try if you want to. I think, I don't know a whole lot about the Body Shop and their philanthropy, but from what I've heard, they've got an amazing philanthropy, I'll get that in a minute, uh, a program where um, they help ladies in other countries, third world countries, get jobs or provide them with jobs. So I think that is correct. I watched a video from last year 
were uh, Fleur de Force and her husband went to, I think it was somewhere in Africa, and the body shop sent them. So I think the philanthropy is amazing, just not a huge fan of most of their products, unfortunately. So I say if you like it and you want to try something that's limey with some mint smell, go out and try these. But if it's if you're just kind of like, uh, hmm pass it up you know um they're pretty pricey keep in mind all of this stuff plus that shaker that i don't even use was 18 dollars. so um that is pretty pricey i think for these products especially the sizes if they were full sizes um for that amount i wouldn't think it was that bad but um anyway this has been um, my thoughts and feelings on these body shop products let me know what you guys think about the Body Shop and what your favorite product is if you've ever tried it or you may not be a big fan. Um, just leave me a comment. Let me Tell me what you think. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.